Welcome back. Seven past the hour. This is the Molly program. Once again, if you're just joining us, I just want to explain Friday night. Kathy was doing some uh, food prep for a party and uh, chopped up some Thai chili peppers that were in a in a jar and uh, in the process got the uh, pepper juice all over her hands and uh, there was no, you know, nothing happened until about 15, 20 minutes later and she got a violent reaction and uh, could not uh, operate the board here to run the program. And uh, so the folks at Dial Global uh, um, Satellite Uplink put uh, a program on, I think we did that previous Monday, and there was no way really to get an excuse up. I don't know how many people, if if you don't hear us doing a live show, I don't know how many people go to the website to find out, and we didn't put anything up anyway. But uh, uh, we tried everything. I mean, went through the whole thing. Um, um, everything from milk, that was the first thing. Milk, ice, ice water, nothing made it stop. Alcohol, finally, uh, pure rubbing al- alcohol helped a bit. And um, it would kill the pain, then the pain would slowly come back. Kill the pain, pain would blah, blah, blah. So everything's fine now. It was just one of those things, and there was no way to let folks know. So we do apologize for not being here last Friday. Uh, Hopefully, that will not happen again. This hour is being sponsored by Stephen Gabbard. Stephen writes, Today is my birthday, and I raise a glass to the man who added rat bastard son of a bitch to my (laughs) vocabulary. I don't know how you do it night after night, Mike, but we love you for it. Happy birthday, Stephen. Stephen Gabbard. Rat bastard. Son of a bit. Yeah, yeah. I've just profaned up the, uh, the, the, the airwaves. Right? Not really. If, if you, you know, listen to, listen to John Stewart sometime on, uh, on Comedy Central. I realize that's, uh, that's a, a, a cable network, but, you know, come on, listen to Bill Maher, uh, on his program. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, thanks, Stephen. Happy birthday. Stephen Gabbard is today 28, 29? Doesn't say here. 38, 39, 48, 49? Thanks, Stephen. Uh, I live in the buckle of the Bible Belt. I live in Georgia. And uh, I've said a million times, people say, why do you stay there? Uh, I like the weather nine months out of the year, and I like the fact that there are mountains uh within uh, minutes from our house. I mean, you know, Appalachians, okay, 45 minutes. But real mountains, not the Rockies, not the Himalayas, but real mountains. And uh, the uh, the Atlantic is uh, a quick four-hour drive, and the Gulf is about uh, is about six hours. And, you know, I just like it. Plus, it's 1,000 feet above sea level, so that when all the ice caps melt, uh, if I'm still alive, at least... Uh, when the seas rise 800 feet, we'll be okay. <laughs> That's really sick. But it is a buckle of the Bible belt. Uh, religious people down here are just flat out crazy. There's no question about it. Um, and about 90% of them, well, not so much anymore. About 70% of them, uh, all right, 60% are Protestant. A good 35% are, uh, are Catholic because of the influx of, uh, a lot of Latino people, and then the rest is sp- scattered among uh, uh, some Jews, some uh, 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 some uh, Hindus, some you know. But the really crazy group are the uh, Republican Christians. I mean, just absolutely bat squeeze whacked out. It, it's it's just amazing to see and scary. The latest comes from Camden County, Georgia. Now, that is down in South Georgia, not too far from the Florida line. And uh, <laughs> there's a sign on the highway. There's a billboard. It was uh, A picture was taken by Mother Jones Reader and posted their website. Uh, and, and this sign, this billboard says, November 6th, you decide America's fate. Now, the billboards, uh, th- that's what the copy says. On on the right is a U.S. flag and Statue of Liberty collage pasted. And on the left is a hammer and sickle. I mean, right off an old commie poster. OK, and then over everything says vote Republican. And then it concludes with a smaller message below. It says paid for by the Camden County Republican Party. Now. 
If you have ever driven in South Georgia uh, or North Florida, or if, if you've driven up uh, Highway 17 or Highway 1, it, it, you know, 95, Interstate 95, you're not going to see a lot of this. But if you get off the interstate and as, as you're going from Florida up, up east, uh, I'm telling you, North Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and even uh, the few bits of North Carolina and, and, and South uh, Virginia, you see some sites that are just, <laughs> I mean, just amazing. Every other sign is looking to redeem your soul through a personal uh, conversation with Jesus uh, or washed in the blood. You know, you got to be washed in the blood. It's the bloodiest goddamn stretch of highway I've ever driven. Uh, aside from the car wrecks, uh, but you know, blood, 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 the blood of Jesus, saved by the blood, the blood, the blood. You gotta be watching the blood, the blood of the lamb, blood of Jesus, blood of the blood, blood, blood. Oh my God. But there are dozens of billboards like that, but rarely are they put up there. Usually they're just put out there. Usually it's hand lettered and there'll be something spelled wrong. J E S I S, you know, something will be spelled wrong. You ought to see him try to work out redemption. Woo! <laughs> but never have I seen one sponsored by a county Republican party. Not like this. Not like this. Um, they have gone crazy. I mean, the Republicans literally, this is not a political party anymore, and you know it. And come November 6, I hope these sons of bitches will be turned out into the street, kicked to the curb, stomped on, run out of town, a buckshot, birdshot aimed at their fleeing asses. Just, I, I mean, this is madness to have these people around. Remember a couple of weeks ago, uh, Virginia County Republican Party uh, were distributing photoshopped images uh, that showed President Obama as a witch doctor. I mean, son of a bitch! Which goes to show you that it doesn't make any difference how many Reverend Al's are on MSNBC. It doesn't make any difference uh, how many black folk graduate with honors from uh, Ole Miss. This is still the South down here. This is still the South. And since it is the South, and the South owns the Republican Party, and actually owns Christianity. I'm sorry, uh, all you folks up north and out west who, who go to Christian uh, or parts of Christian denominations, nah, uh you got nothing to say about it. I'm serious. Serious as a heart attack. White Southerners, mostly men, own the Republican Party and own Christianity as it's now a practice in the United States. So um, to to come across this stuff is a, a bit shocking until. If you live down here, till you, you stop and consider, well, let's see, Camden County Republican Party. Yeah, okay, there's a swastika. Yep, yep, hammer and or not swastika. There's a hammer and sickle. Uh, these old 50 and 60s uh, uh, communist, uh, 40s and 50s communist posters, you know, work as the world to unite, blah, blah, blah. And over on the other side of the billboard, yep, there it is, American flag and Statue of Liberty. And um, might have a picture of Lee Greenwood stuck back in there someplace or that crazy, who's that karate guy who's lost his goddamn mind, Chuck Norris, or or maybe the chair talker, <laughs> you know, Clint Eastwood. I, I mean, look at who gravitates now towards this collection of, of nematodes. It's just unbelievable, right? But there it is, this picture. <laughs> Vote Republican! You decide America's fate if you reelect Barack Obama it's all going to be communists again. What is wrong with these people? You show me another Democrat other than Bill Clinton who has been more corporate friendly, more business friendly, tried his ass off, Obama has, to get things restarted in this country. But because he's a black man, these 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 honky ass ofe crackers down here. Oh wait a minute, those are my people, aren't they? Mm-hmm. These white idiots in the South. Put this stuff up. And you know what? Some of the folks driving by the peanut farmers, and I, no offense against peanut farmers, Jimmy Carter's one, but they'll drive by those signs. They'll go, yeah, yeah, well, we got to keep the niggers from really taking over. Yes, we do. We sure do. 